Happy New Year, everyone. Dan at Ochico Bushcraft. And what better way to start the new year than with a survival hike out here in the Ochico Mountains. So I'm going to take off up this draw to spend, you know, several miles traveling cross country and uh, testing my skills today, taking you guys along with me. So I did this same thing last year, also right around New Year's. Only I went up on the high desert, and I took three things with me. I, on, on that day, I took a, a small Mora knife, some windproof, waterproof matches, and a plastic uh, bottle of water. Well, today, I'm going to take my SE Hunglis II, which has been modified, so I've got a 90-degree spine, which is going to be needed because my only... Fire starting source today will be my Uber Lieben ferro rod. Now, normally, if you guys have watched my videos, you know I've always got a piece of fat wood stuck down in here. Well, to make things harder and more challenging, I'm leaving my little piece of fat wood behind with the pickup. I'm going to have to use my ferro rod, my knife, try to find some fat wood or some other fine material to get fire. I'm not taking any tinder or anything to help me. So it's it's gonna be a little bit challenging, but, um, and I have no saw, so I won't be able to saw off any uh, roots out of a piece of fat wood. And, uh, but I think, I think I feel good. Third thing I'm taking is a canteen cup. I'm just gonna take this along and uh, I'll heat up some water and I'll throw in some pine needles and make some pine needle tea or something and uh, just have a good time while I'm out here. That's that's the big thing. I'm going to have a, a good time. I'm going to go hopefully get fire, get a little shelter set up, um, hydrate, and come back to the vehicle. However, if a big snowstorm comes in, I might be spending the night where I'm at, in which case you guys won't be watching this video on New Year's. You'll be watching it the day or two after New Year's when I make it back to town. But listen, if you're watching this video on New Year's, um, everything went well and I made it back. So let's get started. I'm going to attach this to my belt, um, get my knife on, and we'll take off up here and see what adventure the day holds. Okay. So hiking along an old logging road down here, uh, below me. And I'm leaving the road now. What I've been looking for is a draw that would have some blowdowns in it so that I could find a root wad. And even though I don't have a saw, I'm gonna try to use my Essie Hunglis too to chop into the root wad and get some pieces of pitch out that I can then make fine shavings and scrapings and then uh, see what I can find in the way of dead limbs that I can break off because I have nothing to saw with once again and uh, see if I can't find a place nearby with a lot of tree boughs and stuff for shelter. So if you guys go with me here, we'll walk up this straw, see what we can find. I said I'm looking for root wads. You, if you've watched my videos, you know that, like that right there. Wherever I find root wads, they're usually loaded with pitch. And uh, that makes fire. So you know what? We're gonna chop into that. There's some smaller ones down below. In fact, they're nice and dry underneath. I'm gonna uh, pause you guys, get this set up so you can see what I'm doing, and I'm gonna get down in here and see if I can't chop out some uh, pieces of pitch out of that root wad. Okay.
see. That might not be big enough to get down into any pitch. Yeah. There's no uh, no pitch in that piece. I'm probably going to have to get down in here. There we go. That piece, I'll, I'll bring it around when I'm done here. That piece has got some pitch in it. That's what I'm after. Oh, what a hard place to work. Yeah. Nice. There's some pitch there. That's a good piece. Let's put those in my pocket. Let's see if I can't get another one down out of here. Ah. It's just hard to get to. That's what I'm after. Yeah. Some nice sticky pieces of pitch there. Okay, Let's see what we got here. It's right here. That dark streak. That's there's resin. There's a nice strip of resin right down in there. I'll scrape that, make shavings. I got some other pieces. But, uh, this is dry. Doesn't have any resin in it, but it's dry. It'll give me some other shavings to help burn. I got some of these little pieces. Like that right there. That's got that's got pitch in it. This would be a lot easier if I would have brought my matches, but I wanted to make it challenging. Okay. So I need a place. That's going to supply me with a bunch of dead limbs for firewood and some boughs so I can get some uh, insulation from the ground. And if it snows over my head and this draw here, I don't see much of anything. So I'm going to walk back down to that little logging road and go on up to the next draw. And uh, as I go up, see if I can't get into some more fur. Okay. I have, I've had to walk farther than I thought I would. I haven't, uh, I mean, I've got into some dead firewood and there is some spots where I've, you know, there's some good fur boughs and stuff, but I haven't really gotten to where, where I think would be a good place if I have to stay the night. I am down, by a creek now though so once I get fire I got that creek right down there behind me 
So if you guys can see it. Yeah. Got that creek right down there behind me. So water's not a problem. I don't even need to melt snow. I can uh, just get that water boiling. And, like I said, toss a bunch of pine needles in it, get some vitamin C and a little bit of energy. But turn around so you guys can see where I'm going. I said I'm walking up. At one time was an old logging road, but I'm getting ready to leave it again. I'm gonna head up into, uh, go around this corner. I've, yeah. It's like there's another draw around the corner here. And I'm gonna walk up it and see if I can't get uh, up into a place where there's quite a, quite a bit of fur and get some boughs to sit on and do a shelter and uh, find a bunch of dead wood and start working on a fire. All right. Okay, I found something that looks promising. I got a couple of big pine trees and a great big fir tree right behind me. And there's some uh, trees right behind the camera that have a lot of dead limbs that I can break off. You see, hear that snap. That's nice and dry. So, figure out which direction the wind's coming from because there is a breeze. And I think I'll put my back up against that big fir tree, get some boughs chopped to put underneath me, and then see if I can't get some shavings from that fat wood and get a fire going. A lot of uh, dead branches here. So I'm just surrounded by dead branches on this tree here. And I got some fine stuff too, like that. And there's like a big umbrella of fir boughs above my head. So there isn't gonna be any problem in uh, being kind of dry and insulated up under here. See this finer stuff like this. I will work to get my flame going really well. All right. I'll go up and get some boughs to sit on. <clears throat> so right now, I'm not worried about putting anything up overhead because I'm under like this big umbrella, but I cannot be sitting on that cold ground. That is not gonna uh, work at all. I gotta have some insulation under me. And get, I'll get some more here too. But for starters, I just want to have a dry place to sit. Because as soon as I get a fire going, I wanna start getting warmed up a little bit. It's not bad. So I'll sit right here. I'll get a fire going right out here in front of me. The wind's blowing that way. So 
I'm protected from the back, my back right here and the smoke should blow that way. Okay. All right. See if I can find me a place to uh, try to make some fine shavings. So I'm underneath these three trees here. So you can see I'm back in, like I said, under a big umbrella of overhead cover. In fact, there's hardly any snow in there. Right here behind me is a big snag. And there's pieces of bark on this snag just hanging here. See that? That's as tall as I am, and there's some more pieces around it. So later on, if I decide that I need to have some a shelter, I'll uh, lean a pole or two up against that tree, use these big pieces of bark and a lot of tree boughs and give myself a roof. So I have a roof overhead, a tree to my back to block the wind, and a fire in front of me. And there's a lot of dead limbs and twigs around where I'm at now. So I found a stump up over here and I took a piece of bark over there. I'm going to move you guys over there and see if we can't make some shavings and some scrapings. Your gloves, when you got to be doing something down in the snow, your gloves make great knee pads. All right, I've got them shavings. So this piece, or I mean these pieces of fatwood, I'm going to try to make shavings. So, and I got that big piece of bark I told you about sitting here. Let's see what happens. It's going to be a process. It's going to take a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's slow, but I am getting some little little dust. That's what I'm going to want. That's what I'm going to need. So I'm going to work on this for a while. It's going to take quite a while and I'll, I'll turn you guys back on when I get some, some going here. This has been a long, slow process. You know, if I had my saw, I would have cut a big piece of that fat wood out of that stump and baton it down into a bunch of nice long sticks. But as you guys saw, all I was able to get was this couple small pieces. And so I'm working it, but it's been a very long, slow process to get some shavings down here. Okay, I got a good pile of shavings, and I got some fine pieces. I'm trying to get a few little curls off this pitch. All right, and I've got the smaller pieces here, so I'm going to throw them in there, and then uh, I'll light this and get it down to my where I'm going to make my fire right there in front of that tree. So. Try the ferro rod and see what happens. See if it's gonna work. I'll show you a little trick what I'm gonna do here. This is uh, the Uberlieben rod. These little shavings off this will also ignite. So I'm gonna make some long, heavy strokes and scrape a few shavings down in here. 
with the scrapings I just made. Okay, those will ignite too. There we go. Perfect. All right, come on now. Do your job for me. Yes. Oh, yes. Perfect. Make some thin, long pieces out of this. Rest of this piece of fat wood. Come on, don't. Don't fade on me. There we go. Nice. There's some more. All right. Okay, I got that fat wood on that piece of bark. And uh, I'm gonna set that right out in front of me. See if we can't get this to ignite. Come on, burn for me. There we go. Yep, that's what I needed. Oh, the winds changed direction, so I'm going to move the fire over to the side here some. <sighs> the wind was blowing the complete opposite direction a few minutes ago. That's all right. That's going to do wonders. Getting warm. Look at that. Yes. All right. Yeah. So I can move that bark right over here. So I'll do that. Okay. All right. So the wind 
hasn't changed on me, but that's okay. I just, that's, that was the nice thing about starting my fire on this piece of bark, is it gives me a chance to move it around to where I want it. So I'm gonna put it right out here in front of me. And I got this big old tree behind me. Nice. And I'll just keep adding to that because I'm surrounded by dead wood. There's dead, all kinds of dead branches hanging in here. And I'll just keep building that up. Get a fire going here and I'll kick some, uh, kick some dirt out, put it up here behind me, make a little wall. But uh, that's going to be awesome. That's going to be awesome. So. You guys want to take a walk down to the creek, grab my gloves and that canteen cup, and we'll go get some uh, water to start boiling. Okay. That'll work right about. That'll work. Okay. All right. So I got some insulation underneath me. I got a tree to my back. I'm underneath like an umbrella of tree boughs. And I'm going to get this water boiling. The last thing is. Uh, Oh, there's uh, some smaller pine trees down, yeah, about 25 yards from me. I see some small pine trees. I'm going to go chop up some pine needles, and I'm going to throw them in here and get some uh, pine needle tea going. Not the greatest tasting of things, but uh, it'll warm me up. As soon as I get some coals from this, I'm going to scrape some coals off to the side and uh, I'll set this right down in the coals. <clears throat> and uh, sit back in here, stoke this fire up really good. And then so let's drink some hot pine needle tea and uh, just kind of see how the day goes. You know, I've got this big umbrella under me. I want to see if you guys can really see. Just a really nice umbrella All over me, I mean, over the top of my head. And I'm going to uh, just hang out for a while, gather up a whole bunch of firewood. You know, as I said, I don't have a saw, so I'm going to be breaking off a lot of limbs. But I'm going to get this fire roaring. It's doing really good right now. But I'm gonna get that thing roaring, kick out a little dirt wall behind it, make some pine needle tea, and go from there. You know, if, uh, if I don't make it back to the rig, I'll cut a whole bunch of more tree boughs, make a bed in here, throw a pole up, and uh, use those slabs of bark and some more boughs to make a little shelter over my head. Otherwise, I'll be back sometime this afternoon, and you guys will be watching this uh, this video. Um, Late New Year's Day or New Year's Eve. Or not New, yeah, New Year's Day or New Year's Eve day. <laughs> New Year's Day evening. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching Ochoco Bushcraft. Thank you for all your support over this past year, especially with the craziness that's been going on. And uh, prayerfully, things get better and you guys can get out and enjoy yourselves in the uh, new year. God bless you guys and take care.